Ladies and gentlemen, to deliver the traditional valedictorian dress, we proudly present to you this year's class valedictorian, Maria Serafine Carvella. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, foundation members, teachers, parents, and of course, my fellow graduates of the class of 2019. My name is Maria Serafine Carvella. You can call me Carla, and it is a great honor that I'm able to stand here to deliver this speech. First of all, I would like to say thank you to God for always blessing me. Thank you to the teachers who have been patiently guiding me and teaching me for these past three years. Thank you to my parents who have been giving me their unconditional love. Thank you to my friends who have been supporting me. Lastly, I would like to thank everyone, which I cannot mention one by one, for helping me in various different ways. Without the help, love, and care from all of you, I don't think I'll succeed and I don't think I'll be who I am right now. Hard work is the key to success. When I was under junior high school, being a collector was my dream. But as soon as I got my first business report card, I lost hope. My scores were far from excellent. But someone once told me, you don't need to be the work hard. You just need to be the best version of yourself. So I worked hard, and my scores gradually increased. What I can learn is that hard work never be crazy. I have studied in St. Young since primary school. At that time, my qualification for my school was how to reach the playground road. Because I saw that seeing young playground was huge, I told my parents that I wanted to study here. For junior high school, I chose seeing young because I'm comfortable and familiar with the environment. For senior high school, I chose seeing young again because I'm comfortable with the environment. Being part of seeing young Catholic school has been a pleasure. We have laughed, learned, and even gotten into trouble together. If we recap on what we have done during these three years, we have done so many things together. I have a lot of memories to share, but because I have limited time, I will tell you the most unforgettable one. It was during the trip when I was in one room with my friend Clara. Then, five of our closest friends went into our room and then sang and talked until 2 o'clock in the morning. I was very happy back then. I also remember when I was in 8 and a half high, during pot clock, the boys made serious drinks and very snacks into a pot and drank it. Those are my most unforgettable moments. I believe that each one of you have your own. I hope you, that we all can cherish them in our memories. I also believe that our journey as students doesn't always go smoothly. Sometimes we fall down. What I mean by falling down is to experience failure or maybe feeling stress. I myself have experienced various times. I remember failing in my chemistry and physics test and feeling a little bit down after it. Sometimes we also feel like we hate school. We have to get up early in the morning, go to the evening, maybe meet people we don't like, study us if you're not interested in. But believe me, all the failures and burdens are lessons to us. What well, doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Before I make a speech, I would like to say goodbye to those who will be leaving this video and continuing to other school. I would also like to say good luck to every one of you. This graduation is not the end of our struggle. In fact, it's the beginning of a new struggle. We still have a long journey ahead of us. So, never give up and believe in yourself. Thank you.